A man is on the move once again, thanks to a huge show of support from the Minnesota sports community. It's a feel good Friday edition of this week's home team. Our Mike Max is here to bring it to us. Hi there, Maxi. Yeah, Amelia, it is just that a feel good. He was in the headlines seven years ago. A head injury in a hockey game left him paralyzed, but Matt Olson is thriving. Because of the hockey community and this week with the aid of a Minnesota company and one Viking quarterback. Matt Olson grew into a very good hockey player at Tatino Grace High School. But it was in a junior game playing for Chicago, he sustained an injury that left him paralyzed. It captivated the hockey community. He will face these challenges um, with the same work ethic and tenacity that made him a great hockey player. Seven years later, he lives at his now fitted home, and it is filled with hockey jerseys from people like his friend Anders Lee from the New York Islanders. He has built a model railroad town as part of his passion for his new life. So too is hunting, especially for deer. And he's done two years of college and hopes to graduate with an outdoor science degree from St. Cloud State University. I've always had a passion for um, the outdoors and getting out and so that's what I'm kind of doing with my degree and this will allow me to you know, get out in the field and do field work if I have to. And that's what takes us to this day. Action Manufacturing out of Marshall got a call from a hockey man asking them to consider building an ATV for Matt. Well, Matt, besides hockey, his other passion was hunting and the outdoors. And, you know, obviously he was limited that he couldn't go do that with a standard wheelchair. And, you know, the folks in Marshall, you know, produced this track chair. And we just thought, how can we get Matt in one of these so he can get in the out great outdoors? Oh, man, look at that thing. On this day, he is presented with his personal ATV and a prototype that could change the future yeah. for other accident victims. I love the color. Yep, camouflage. That turned out so good. Really appreciative to the Olson family for actually helping us through. It took long, um, but we, we wanted to do it right, so it was a, a little bit of a process, but uh, here we are. But to understand how this all came together, there is a football connection. Kirk Cousins saw the first model and met Matt. That's what he decided, to fund the entire cost of it out of his foundation. It was that's truly really special what Kirk Cousins and his foundation did and um, truly amazing and thankful for them to bring that financial piece into uh, making this happen. Even Cousins could not have predicted what it would be like on this day when Matt Olson was able to go where he had not gone before. Like right here, I haven't been back here in, since my accident, seven years. I mean, it's always, your first time that you can just stroll back here because yep. you can't. Yeah, I could never go back. I mean, I could, but it would never be like this smooth or... Just a stroll like, through the backyard meant so much more to mom and dad. It's hard to put into words because it's going to open up so many possibilities for him. Because Matt Olson has a new lease on life. Because Matt Olson has a new avenue to freedom. And because Matt Olson has a forward-thinking attitude on everything. He's got a sign in there, it is what it is, but it'll become what you make of it. And that's what he's doing. And he's doing it very well. Matt got his two-year associate's degree from an Uncle Ramsey Community College this spring and is enrolled at St. Cloud State, where he will pursue some form of environmental studies with the possibility of pursuing something in the DNR down the road.